Hey guys, it's Tell with Oshawa Bushcraft. I am shooting my third installment in Call Craven and I's project on bushcraft cooking in a cup. Now, if you guys haven't been following this series and are just getting into it now, there's going to be a link to Call Craven's channel below this video in the description. Go check his channel out. The last two videos he did, his second and his third one, he did uh, a beef and vegetable stew from scratch or soup and a quiche made from fresh ingredients in the field and he did all the prep with a, a hand napped stone knife. It's very cool. Please go check it out. Uh, I'm camped on the shores of Lake Ontario today as you can see. We've had some pretty wicked thunderstorms the last three nights and we got some fog going on right now and it kind of looks like I'm camped on the edge of the world doesn't it? But, uh, today we're gonna make uh, chicken alfredo. So I'm gonna build this fire up a little bit. I'm gonna get together what I need and uh, I'll move this camera around and I'll show you what I'm up to. Stick around. All right guys, my kit loadout has changed a little bit. I went and picked up one of these little uh, rinky dink canteen stoves and uh, my old military canteen was leaking and uh, I picked up one of these Nalgene ones. I gotta tell you, I've really fallen in love with this thing. You're probably gonna get a review on this sucker later. Uh, I've been, as much as it is twice the price, I've really liked this. I've been using it a lot. Um, when I was getting ready for this, I went to Walmart and I was gonna buy a pack of fettuccine or sp spaghetti pasta mix and some a package of Alfredo sauce, like the, the powder package. But the pasta mix makes enough for like two dinners for two families of four. And the, pasta, uh, the sauce mix would probably do one main dinner for like a family of four, which is probably two or three times what I'd need right now anyway. So I'd be sectioning both these things down into smaller containers to bring them in the field anyway. And uh, just a little bit down the laneway, I saw these guys. These are my uh, my good old sidekicks. And I thought, this is fettuccine Alfredo. It's got the sauce mix and the pasta already in there. It's not instant. You still got to cook it for, um, what are we looking at? Seven minutes. Um, I thought, why not? You know, these are practically uh, the official entree of uh, Oshawa Bushcraft. This series would not be complete if I didn't do one without it. So we're going to do that. And I'm going to add to it a uh, can of chicken breast meat. It's chunked. Now, I could have brought a boneless, skinless chicken breast out with me. I could have brought a chicken thigh or some legs or anything I wanted and cooked them up. But uh, the beauty of this together is that that'll keep. I could throw that in my pack. These, Both of these have been floating around for a while. This one, actually this I just picked up. This has been floating around in my pack for weeks. So, you know, you could put these in the trunk of your car in a bag ready to go and you don't use them this summer, use them next summer. They're still gonna be waiting for you. They're not gonna go bad which is a big advantage. Might not be as exciting as uh, Call Craven, uh, working on all these fresh ingredients, but uh, maybe a little more realistic in the field. Uh, so step one is gonna be uh, boil some water to get this pasta ready to go. I got two cups measured out in here, roughly, and I'm gonna get that on the fire. In the meantime, I wanna cook this chicken up a little bit, just so that it doesn't seem like uh, cold canned chicken going into my meal. Normally I would throw it in the bottom of my cup and fry it up a little bit with some oil, but I'm thinking that untreated aluminum cup is probably gonna be a mess to clean afterwards. So I got another idea. So while that's boiling, I'm gonna work on this and I'll get back to you. All right guys, we got a solid boil going. So our next step is add our sidekick without burning ourselves. Yeah, most of it went in there. Now my plan for this chicken was the reason I bought chunks was I was hoping I was gonna be able to put it on a, a skewer like a kebab and roast it over the fire a little bit before I included it into our sidekick. But this chicken is just so flaky. Uh, unless I had like toothpicks to put it on, uh, it's just gonna fall apart and fall off my skewers. So I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, it's just gonna go right into my mix as is. Once it returns to a boil, seven minutes, we're eating. All right guys, we're at or around seven minutes here. Pass is nice and tender. It still looks like there's a little bit of juice in there, but that's okay. That's, uh, as it cools, the sauce will thicken up considerably. So I'm just gonna give this a minute to cool down. We're gonna eat. All right guys, we're just waiting for this to cool down a little bit so I can eat. Uh, in the meantime, uh, I learned a lot making this video. 
more so than the first two. Uh, mostly things about restrictions in my kit and uh, like good example I tried shooting this video yesterday I came out here and it was right after the rain and for the life of me I couldn't start a fire it's embarrassing to say that but it's true I could admit it uh, all my kit had in it was a ferro rod and a Bic lighter I didn't have any I didn't carry any tinder with me because all I have is that little cook kit right the canteen cup and a ammo pouch uh, the only cutting tool I had on me, because I wasn't planning on doing much, I wasn't prepared, is this, uh, it's a Buck Pack Light Hunter. And uh, again, because I wasn't planning on needing, really needing a cutting tool for much. And uh, yeah, I made feather sticks and everything down here was so wet and so damp and I couldn't find a birch, couldn't find any pine. I couldn't find any natural tinder that would really work to my advantage. And I tried, and after an hour, I gave up knowing I needed to make some adjustments and then come back and do a restart today. And then today, no problem. Now, I was thinking about that damn cooking kit. If you're not carrying a stove and you're planning on cooking a meal, you're relying on a fire. So having solid means to start a fire should be an important part of that kit in the absence of a stove. Now, your ferro rod gives you, uh, you know, sure ignition. A Bic lighter gives you sure flame. But if tinder is going to be marginal or unavailable, that's something you should be carrying too. And I spent a day thinking about it because I didn't want to start adding more pouches into this. I didn't want to have to add a whole huge fire kit. I just wanted some tinder. That's really what I was missing. I've been using this stuff for a little while. This is juke cord soaked in beeswax. And I soak it as a whole roll. Drop it right in a pot of beeswax. And it penetrates right through to the inside. No problem. And it's nothing to rip off 10 feet of that and then wrap it around something. Now, I don't normally carry this knife, so this isn't what I'm going to use. But I'm going to figure out some piece of that kit that I can wrap some cordage around. Maybe even the mag pouch and have 10 or 20 feet of that cordage, this stuff will burn, you know, you feather it out, it burns like that, but you roll it up into a ball, you can get a five minute burn time on it easy, and it's waterproof, it's not going to, guys have talked about that, I'm not gonna get into too much about that. What I actually use today, is one of these guys. This is a, a woman's uh, makeup pad remover, a little cotton pad, soaked in beeswax. Now, I can't get these to take a spark, but if you light this with a lighter, I usually fold it in half to make kind of a, a V in it and light one end with a lighter. I get nine minutes burn time out of this with like four or five inches of flame. I set this on a stone and then I set up uh, uh, a log beside it. I laid some sticks across it and I got the sticks to light right off of this. And I was working with thumb sized sticks. So it was no wood processing whatsoever. I just lit this thing and it got me right to thumb size sticks. And again, this will be waterproof. This will sit underneath your canteen cup in your canteen carrier or in the bottom of that mag pouch. You could carry three or four of these, no problem. And with that and a Bic lighter, you got sure flame. So that's what you're cooking. Uh, what else have I learned? I'm enjoying that Nalgene water bottle. And uh, I'm thinking I'm going to put some measurements, uh, marks on this thing for measuring uh, liquids in it make it like a measuring cup. I'm going to have to scribe lines on the inside. I'm not sure how yet, but uh, my Pathfinder cup has that on the inside of it, and I kind of miss it having this cup. So that's something else I learned. Let's go here. Mm. I love these things. There's nothing new here. Let me guys close up what we're eating. There we go. Fettuccine sauce with chicken in it. It would have been nice to brown that chicken up a little bit, but what are you going to do? If I had a grill, or uh, another pan with me, that'd be nice, but I don't. Uh, I used a can of chicken for this. That can of chicken could be an analog for any number of things. You got a squirrel, a uh, small bird, maybe even a less than uh, desirable game animal, something like a uh, muskrat or a possum, maybe isn't so great eats. You know, a good thick uh, Parmesan or uh, garlic sauce could really help making that palatable. Mm. Well, there you have it, guys. Episode 3. I was talking to Carl Craven. He says he's got some cool stuff coming up. I'm going to do something a little more creative for my next one. Hopefully, I'll have more time. So, thanks for watching. Till next time, uh, go outside, guys. YouTube will be here when you get back.